penguins and puffins are unique seabirds, and they both spend much of their lives on water. In particular, their color patterns of black and white feathers make them look similar. Due to these similarities, people may sometimes mistake one for the other. Then, how can we distinguish them? Penguins and puffins belong to different families. Penguins are members of the family Sphenoscidae. This family is composed of only penguins, which have 18 species. These include emperor penguins, king penguins, adelie penguins, and so on. However, puffins are members of the Alcidae family. Different from the family Sphenoscidae, this family includes other bird species, such as auklets and murres. Penguins are much larger than puffins. The size of penguins changes significantly depending on the species. The little blue penguin is the smallest species, and they are about 12 to 13 inches tall and weigh 2.6 to 2.9 pounds. The tallest species is the emperor penguin. They are 43 to 47 inches tall and weigh 55 to 100 pounds. Puffins are about 10 to 15 inches in height. Their average weight is about 1.1 pounds. Another clear difference between penguins and puffins is their beaks. Penguin beaks are long, narrow, and curved downward. They are gray, black, or orange. The beaks of puffins have very distinctive physical characteristics. They are shorter but taller than penguin beaks. Puffin beaks are brightly colored and spade-shaped when viewed from the side. Their feathers have black and white color patterns, but they are still different. Penguins have short, scale-like feathers. These are tightly packed and waterproof, so they are efficient for swimming. Puffins' feathers are not as tightly packed as penguins' feathers. However, they are still waterproof and enable puffins to float in the water and fly. Although they both have wings, they also have differences. Penguins have short, stubby wings. With these, they can propel themselves forward and swim faster underwater, but are unable to fly. Puffins' wings are longer, and they are used to both swim and fly. Both penguins and puffins are carnivores, but their specific diets are different. Penguins live in the southern hemisphere, so they eat fish, squid, krill, and other marine animals. Since they are excellent swimmers, they can swim quickly and catch their prey efficiently. Puffins, on the other hand, inhabit the northern hemisphere, so they consume small fish such as capelin, herring, and sand eels. Although both birds face threats from human activities, they are also vulnerable to different predators. Penguins are usually attacked by leopard seals and killer whales, so they encounter threats both on land and in the water. Different from this, puffins are preyed upon by larger birds, such as seagulls and skuas. In addition, land mammals such as foxes and rats can attack their chicks. One of the most significant differences is their capacity for flying and swimming. It's well known that penguins are flightless birds. However, puffins do have the ability to fly. Puffins can even reach up to 55 miles per hour in the air, but only for a short period of time. Both birds can swim as well, but penguins are better swimmers and are more agile underwater. Penguins can dive up to 500 feet deep and hold their breath for several minutes. Puffins also use their wings to swim, but can only dive up to 200 feet deep. They can hold their breath for up to a minute. Penguins and puffins live in different areas. Almost all species of penguins are found in the southern hemisphere. They are found in Antarctica, Australia, South Africa, coastal South America, and the Galapagos Islands. They can be found in various habitats, such as rocky cliffs, coastal beaches, and icebergs. Different from penguins, all species of puffins live in the northern hemisphere. 
puffins are in many countries in the Arctic Circle or below. It is believed that about 60% of the puffin population is found in Iceland. However, their habitats also include many other countries, such as Canada. They can be found in diverse biomes, including rocky cliffs, islands, and tundras. Penguins and puffins are colonial, so they breed and raise their young in large groups. Both males and females share the responsibilities to incubate the eggs and to feed chicks. However, they still have different breeding habits. Many species of penguins lay two eggs, and their incubation period is 60 days. They usually form large colonies on land. Puffins usually lay one egg during their breeding season, and the incubation period lasts about 40 days. They typically nest in crevices or burrows on cliffs, coasts, or islands. Now you know how to tell the differences between penguins and puffins. That's all I have for today. Thank you!